Hey, what's up guys? Alex here with a new video, and I've never done a video like this before, but I'm super excited, so I decided to go ahead and do it. But uh, the new Canon EOS, let me look down, EOS R just leaked in all its glory. So to take it back from the very beginning, uh, obviously Sony's been dominating the mirrorless market, and I think in the last year or so, everybody's really, really been wondering, where's Nikon, where's Canon, what are they gonna be doing? And Nikon just kind of launched this huge marketing campaign going back to July, right? Giving us like 30 days of teasers and anticipation. And they announced their Z6 and Z7 cameras and they kind of fell a little flat. Um, there's a lot of good things about them. I'm not gonna judge the camera until I get my hands on it and use it, but on paper, it fell flat. So it was kind of like wide open. What's Canon gonna do, right? There was rumors that they were gonna wait till next year. There was rumors first of September, but nothing set in stone. And then just yesterday, kind of all these things were dropping, right? There are gonna be all these lenses gonna come out next week, yet nothing had been leaked. So it all seemed almost like fairy tale. but today at around, was it 9.30 p.m. Central Time, the first image is leaked, and I'm gonna be posting them here as I'm talking, and I'm gonna be looking at my phone because I'm kind of reading uh, all the information that just leaked tonight. And again, this is still kind of considered rumors, even though the images are real, uh, the specs can still change, right? Uh, uh, nothing's really confirmed yet as far as the specs go. So what's being leaked right now is, it's gonna be called the Canon EOS R, and it's gonna have a new mount. And this mount will come with, or you'll be able to buy three different adapters. You'll be able to buy a kind of EF to this EOS R mount, which so you can use all your old Canon glass onto this new mount. You're gonna be able to buy that exact same adapter with the option and ability to actually drop in filters. So that's gonna be pretty freaking cool. So if for you're doing video, you wanna drop ND filters, that's kind of what it looks like it's gonna be. Um, again, this is just based on the naming and the images that leaked. If that's true, that's pretty cool. There's gonna be an EOS M to this EOS R adapter, which means the current mirrorless lineup and the APS-C size lenses will not be working uh, with this new full frame mount. Very interesting, but it also could be a good thing, right? We wanna make sure that this new mount is designed for full frame and kind of for the future, right? Kind of like Nikon did. So some of the specs that are leaking out is 30.3 megapixel full frame sensor, of course, uh, dual pixel AF, Canon's bread and butter. Uh, apparently it's gonna focus on EV minus six, which is unheard of. So I'm currently filming this with a Canon 1DX Mark II FYI, and I have a, a Canon 5D Mark IV over here. Um, I am a Canon shooter again. I switched over to Sony last year and ended up switching back and one of the things I did not like about the Sony system as a wedding photographer was it wasn't able to focus in super low light receptions. Now this is not all the time, but when the DJ kind of cut all the lighting, there was no backlighting, um, the camera struggled a lot. And the fact that they're advertising EV minus six is ridiculous. So if that's accurate, that's gonna be game changing. Um, 4K video, let's hope Canada doesn't cripple it with the uh, motion JPEG that we currently have now, because that's absolutely horrible. Uh, Touchscreen LCD, here's the best part about it. It's an articulating LCD, kind of like the ADD and the 6D Mark II, so that's freaking cool. Um, dust proof, drip proof, drip proof. Uh, magnesium body, and check this out. It's gonna be using the same Canon LP E6 and batteries, which means it should be backwards compatible with the current batteries that you have now. It's gonna be a battery grip, of course, and some of the dimensions, right? So it's gonna be the width of about 136 millimeters and the height of 98. Um, it's gonna be roughly around a little bit wider than a Sony A7R or A7III and uh, a little bit taller. There's some numbers for you. So taking a look at some of the pictures that leaked, uh, you can see how big the grip looks, which again is awesome because you have these mirrorless cameras, which technology is freaking amazing with these tiny grips. And for me uh, as a working professional in the wedding industry, I love everything that mirrorless has to offer, but I'm six foot four, I have big hands, and my hands start cramping after a few hours with those mirrorless bodies, and if we can just make a little bit of a bigger body, kind of like the Fuji X-H1, I think has perfect ergonomics, uh, put a full frame sensor in that type of body, and I'm happy. 
Uh, so the fact that this looks to have that big grip uh, makes me super excited. But the biggest thing here that Canon is kind of just dropping is their lens lineup. So where Nikon really dropped the ball is you have this huge marketing campaign. They're talking about this huge diameter of the mounts and how you can have 0.95 lenses, 1.2 lenses, and they come out with an F4 and an F1.8, two F1.8s. So yes, the mount looks promising and the mount looks really cool, but you can't hype it up and put it up here, right? And then release just basic average lenses uh, as far as the aperture goes. And uh, Canon is doing something a little different. So again, they're gonna be dropping a 50 millimeter F1.2. And if this is kind of a redesigned newer version of the 51.2, that's gonna be freaking awesome. I'm actually filming this with uh, Canon's 51.2L right now. So one of my favorite lenses, just has character, has a look you can't replicate. And for them to be coming out with that lens automatically uh, for this new mount, new design, freaking awesome. Freaking awesome. Here's the kicker. 28 to 70 f2 now this lens looks freaking huge but f2 so you have a almost a full 24 to 70 lens and f2 aperture you're gonna be letting in a lot of light so one of the biggest turnoffs for me on a 24 to 70 is that f28 uh, this 28 to 70 for me you're compromising four millimeters but to me it's worth it so uh, i think this is the first zoom lens i'm probably going to pick up on launch day um because it kind of checks off my boxes, right? You do have a, a nice zoom range for weddings, and it seems token you do let in more light, so very cool. You're gonna have your basic 24 to 105 f4 lens. I'm not interested in that, but I know there's a market for it. And a 3518 macro lens, a non-L lens. So it looks like they're gonna do uh, three L lenses with three adapters, one non-L lens, one body, and that's kind of what's leaked today. Um, no word on if it's going to be dual SD card slot or what kind of media it's going to take. Based on the leaked images, it looks a little scary. It looks like, from what I can see, kind of what a 6D Mark II looks like, which means one SD card slot. Now, I'm just assuming based on the pictures, none of that information is leaked, but let's hope that there's two SD card slots because if it's just one, that's going to be a huge bummer for me and maybe even deal breaker just because of the fact that you can't replicate weddings. I can't shoot it twice, right? So that moment is that moment and that's it. But um, as a whole, that's kind of what's sleek today. Um, I'm super excited. I'm a Canon fanboy. I'll gladly say that. Uh, even though I was interested in trying out the new Nikon system because of that new mount, uh, I think this new lens lineup, this design, the bigger girthier grip, uh, I, I think Canon might have gotten it right the first time if they have those two SD card slots. Um, we'll see. So the announcement supposedly September 5th, depending on what part of the world you're in, September 6th. And you know what? I think I want to make more videos like this. This is truly kind of what gets me excited. Uh, I'm a nerd. I love cameras. I love photography. So why the hell not, right? Uh, let's go ahead and put out some more content. So this is the first leak. Um, I'll go ahead and make another video. Why not? Um, when more information is updated and, of course, when it launches. Uh, but I can tell you right now, uh, I will be probably pre-ordering this uh, the day it is announced. So, um, quick video, guys. Super excited. And, yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'll include a link to the Canon Rumors uh, article, and we'll be updating that article as more information leaks. And let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Let's, go, let's have a conversation here and, 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 and see what you guys think. Again, not being biased, Sony... Sony paved the way, and if it wasn't for Sony innovating, I don't think Canon and Nikon would have been responding like this because they were very complacent. So there's no need to compare and there's no need to hate uh, on a camera brand. Uh, I think everybody brings something to the table and uh, the more mirrorless cameras we have out, there's also a rumor of a Panasonic full frame camera coming out at the end of the month. Uh, I think the more the better because the competition just drives innovation, right? It's gonna push these companies to deliver better products and in the end, the consumer wins. So let's not bash brands, let's have a good conversation and get excited about the future, guys, because it's looking bright and I'm super stoked. So quick video, guys, as always, please like the video, please subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Have a good one, peace.